Hello, so this will be um, Function Generators Part 1. We're going to talk about envelopes, um, because Function Generators is sort of a wide range of um, possibilities. Uh, so, building on what we know, we have our oscillators, which say, which say what shape, our VCA, which says how much, and we have our function generators. These are two examples. We're going to get, you know, kind of into the weeds on this a little bit. Um, function generators kind of say when, okay? Um, so what this lets us do is shape what's happening. Um, we're going to use volume, but it doesn't have to be volume. It can be filter. It can be kind of anything. And we're going to get further into that as we build more and more advanced patches here. Um, so as you will recall, um, when we are going from an oscillator to a VCA, we get a sound if we turn up the volume. So here's a sawtooth into a VCA. I turn up the volume. Yay. Okay. And then we further introduce, you know, I can take an oscillator and say, okay, I want this shape to change the volume. But what if we want to do a little more than that? Um, that's where function generators come in. Um, so today we're going to talk about envelopes. So think about this is when and what and one time. Uh, so we're only having one time happen. Um, and that's sort of the definition of an envelope is it, it gets a trigger and it does, you know, its shape one time. That's the big difference between that and like an LFO or a burst generator or anything like that. Um, so one time, um, I'm going to use this mini mob contour generator because this is like very Moog like, um, where it's just an envelope. It doesn't have any fancy fanciness to it at all. Um, so you notice when I turn up the volume on my VCA, it's like, oh, there's nothing. Um, that's because this needs a trigger. Um, so there's a button, handy button here where I can just push, and that gives me my, um, trigger that then sends out the envelope voltage to the volume. Um, very basics. I have an attack knob, which is how fast it takes the note to come to full volume. Okay. If I have a fast attack, it punches in like that. If I have a fast or uh, slow attack, it takes a little while. Uh, I might have set this to 10 seconds. Good job. Uh, here, I'll put it down a little more reasonable. Okay. So slower attack. And slower and slower and so forth. Okay. Decay, same thing. After the trigger happens, how long it takes the note to come back down to zero volume. Short decay. Or long decay. Okay. Every... Uh, Every contour generator will have different modes. Um, so this has sort of a sustain mode or an attack release mode. Um, so when sustain mode is active, we kind of need um, a keyboard or some sort of computer control plugged into this, which we are going to talk about down the line. But that's where the sustain knob comes into play is, you know, how long does it take to... I can kind of do it by holding the trigger button down, right? So if sustains all the way down, you see it kind of ignores me. <laughs> um, if I have it up, the note lasts as long as I hold that button down. Um, I personally kind of like the maths for people who are first buying Eurorack because this does so many other things beyond just making envelopes. Um, it can be an LFO. It's got some voltage processing through the middle so you can... Um, flip signals upside down. Um, it's got end of rise and end of cycle outputs. It's got sum outputs. All very useful things. Um, so let's talk about this one just a little bit. Um, I'm going to go out of channel one. Now this one has no um, trigger button. <laughs> so what we have to do is send it a trigger. And as you'll recall, a trigger is any sharp attack voltage signal. 
so I can take the sawtooth out of my second oscillator and send it. So whenever the red light happens here, we trigger. And this works in the same way. Um, you know, I have a rise and a fall. I have a... Uh, There we go. Slow attacks. I have different shapes I can make. Okay. <laughs> now, one advantage of having something with a lot more plugs like this is you can change things over time. Um, so I can assign random voltage to the rise and the fall, which we will get into a little bit later. I can take just another output of my oscillator and assign it here and let it change over time. Um, that might be kind of interesting. where you need more stuff to make stuff happen. Um, what I can do, we'll get into this later, I can take one of the other channels and plug it in here. <laughs> there we go. So I've got one channel influencing the other. Um, and this is why having a mass is really good when you're first starting out, because you kind of have some options to put all this stuff together. Um, and it's one module that does quite a lot of things for you. Um, so that's my spiel on envelopes. Uh, next video, we're going to talk about more advanced stuff. We're going to break out the um, Bukla 281. We're going to break out the IntelliJ Quadrax. We're going to put this guy away, because this really just does envelopes. We're going to talk LFOs, and then we'll do probably a separate video with like burst generators and all this other stuff you can do with function generators. Um, so hope this gives you some ideas to try out, and we will see you next video.